with dogs like this, you gotta manage their excitableness, okay? I like to hold him at bay a little bit. So his natural inclination, not with me, All right, this is Cooper. This is Cooper. This is, he's a very excitable dog. You saw me, whoa, you saw me do a video the other day with Cooper. I took off the choke chain, I put on the normal collar. It changed everything. You guys, this dog is like a lot of your guys' dogs. Look at his energy level, okay, his excitement. This is difficult for you guys and for these owners to have a dog like this. Oh, look how happy this dog is. Yeah, happiness is great. But this excitableness is antithetical to training. I don't know how else to explain it to you, okay? It's great for dock diving. It's great for bite work. It's great for fly ball. It is not great for just having a calm dog. It's a real challenge for a lot of you, pe for a lot of you guys. And you gotta learn how to deal with this, okay? And I'm gonna show you right now. We have a dog. He, when he sees dogs, he loses his mind, okay? We have a dog set up right here that he has never seen. The dog just got here. He's in the pool area. So he's gonna meet this dog and he can't pull to this dog. This would be a situation like where, you're, where he's meeting a dog, you're on a walk and there's a dog behind a fence. Also, another dog just got here, getting here right now. So we're gonna go, we're gonna have that dog on a walk and he's gonna pass a dog, all right? And you've seen this dog's energy level. You, you can see in this video, this guy's tail and this guy's energy this is a challenging dog and a dog like a lot of your dogs, okay? Take the choke chain off. Remember why this is bad? Because it goes click, 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 click. Then they hit it, hit the end of this, okay? All right, normal collar, remember, change it up. If he's on a choke chain, change it to a regular collar. If he's on a regular collar, change it to a gentle leader. If the gentle leader isn't working, change to a front click harness. Change the stimulus. Do something different in life. If you guys, if you keep doing the same thing over and over in life, the same thing with your kids over and over and over, it's not working, it's time to switch it up. It's not working. The, 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 that's not working. They, they learn to fight against it. Your kids learn the tone you do every time and then that tone becomes this, this annoying sound to them or that they don't even hear it. You gotta change things. Okay, oh, you're being a calm boy now. He didn't eat treats last time, if you remember that. Come on, get to your door, do a sit. Good boy, give good boys. Don't give a lot of pets. Oh my gosh, you're so good. Look what petting does. He didn't get up, but they get excited. You don't want excitableness. You want chillness. Oh my gosh, you're the best dog in the world. You're the best dog in the world. You don't want that. The, is the boss, am I going to my employees going, you're the best employee ever, and giving them hugs and just go, oh my God, I love you. No, good job. Good, confident. The boss is confident, okay? Stay. You're at your front door. Uh-uh. All day. We'll do this. That door opening is not a release. Ever. Sit. The door opening is not, I'll do it again. Stay. The door opening is not a release. You going to close the door is not a release. You saying, hi doggy, is not a release. O-K-A-Y is the release. Now, I like to help them. So I'm gonna pick up the leash right now. Stay, so I'm gonna throw in a stay. Cause that can be a tough one. The bend down can be like, it can be a release, but it shouldn't be a release. So I'm helping him. Stay, let's do the door open again. Let's see if that flip around helps. Stay, I throw in stays, throw in stays. But understand that Good boy. Oh, you're a nice boy. Okay, he learns quick. Remember the video I posted two days ago? He learns quick. Okay. Now, he has not seen this dog. Thor, Prince, come on. Come to the gate, come to the fence. Do something so he can see you. Look, okay, there's Thor there. Oh, let's see if he sees Thor for the first time. Now, I did all that walk, all, I did all that doorway work. So he's gonna be chiller. If you guys do that door work, he's gonna be chiller. The proof's in the pudding. You saw this dog and his excitableness in there. Your gut told you that dog pulls when he sees other dogs, or I hope it did, right? 
Okay, you wanna go see your friend? Yeah, that's another dog. Oh, he's being, he's being good. He's being good because of what I did. Is he with me? Yeah, he's with me. He checked in with me right there. Okay, you can say hi to your friend. Cooper, come. How was my cue? How was my recall? Cooper, come. Was it loud enough to, for him to hear it? Yes. Was it clear enough? Was it high pitched enough for him to hear it? Yes. What did he do? He said, no, I want to meet these friends. I said, okay, correction. You guys have to get dog in society. Dogs are out of control. The dog training industry has 80 to 90% of the trainers are doing a poor job. You have to do something different. You have to follow somebody's way. Okay, so you might say, well, I've never seen that. Oh my gosh, oh, well, that was mean. Whatever you say, it doesn't matter. It's, it's what it is. It's effective. Cooper, come. He started to come. Still got a low correction. Wasn't quick enough. Now the third one. Okay. Cooper, come. Three approximations. A pretty crazy dog is coming away from another dog through a fence that he has never met. You can tell he's never met this dog. You're saying, yeah, but that's Joel. That's you. You can do this. You can do this when you walk down the street and let your dog say hi to a dog through a fence. And then, and then you do one recall. The dog says, no, you do what I do. You do another recall. The dog says, starts to come with you, but really didn't come to you. You then do what I did. Third recall is like this. Cooper, come. Now he's smelling and we're done asking. Because he was smelling the behind of the dog. Hopefully you could see it. Maybe you couldn't. Now watch the, this one. And he comes away, even without a recall, just following the boss. All right, it's time to get, sit, time to get serious, okay? I'm not a magician. I'm not asking multiple times, he knows sit. I don't care that there is a dog there that he has not met and he doesn't feel like sitting. This dog loses his mind in many ways when he sees dogs and when he sees people and he just goes, Ugh, and he loses his mind. Those days are over. I said that in the video the other day. I'll post that video up in the, what is it? In the left-hand corner of the screen, I think. Let me think about this. You'll see it, okay? I'll post it right now. That video from the other day with this guy, his first training session. Okay, go see your friend. Thor, Thor, dude, come here. Thor, Thor, come here. Face to face, face to face, face to face. Cooper, come. And good boy, Cooper. All right, now we have a dog that just arrived. We're gonna go on a walk. We're gonna pass that dog, so you're gonna see him passing of dogs. Okay, let's go. With dogs like this, you gotta manage their excitableness, okay? I like to hold him at bay a little bit. So his natural inclination, not with me necessarily, if this was a brand new person or the owners, he's right here, he's in their face, he's probably hitting their face, he's pushing them over, not with me, because I'm the boss. But you see that mouth on my hand? You can actually feel his whole energy, like, like, his muscles and everything. He's just like all excitable. Okay, so we're about to go on that walk. We're gonna see that dog that he has never met before on a walk, on a normal collar. No treats, no e-collars, no prong collars. All the stuff that I've been doing with him that I've been talking to you about is the reason this guy is going to succeed. And I believe, I know he is gonna succeed. All right, let's, let's get up there. We've got a dog set up up here that he has not met yet. We're gonna start walking. I've let him be in front of me the whole way out here so that he is not perfect. Your dog being in front of you, if your dog does not have leash reactivity or isn't crazy when they see other dogs is not the worst thing in the world. When I go on these walks to show you guys, I'm like, keep the dog here because, no, you're good, because you're about to, you are gonna see a dog later and if they're up here, how are you gonna get them? Oh, when you see a dog is when you're gonna to start to go, okay, let me get control. No, no, you gotta get control early. So that's why I'm all hardcore early in the walk. It's because you're about to see a dog. So this is actually, look, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. 
we're over this. What did I do there? Rewatch it. Hit the back button. I released the leash, then I gave a correction. You can't give a correction on a tight leash. I released it, then I gave a correction. This guy will hunker down and will, he'll go, he'll pull the owner over. He'll pull kids over. He'll pull anybody over. Did you see that? That's one of my little keys to success. You want to make the feeling of him going, I'm going to hunker down and then you start to pull and him go, no, 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 no. I'm going where I want to go. I released it. Then I gave him a correction. And then he was, then he went, oh my God, you got to shock these guys out of what they're doing. Okay. We got the dog up here. He's leaving me. Okay. Oh, he sees the dog and we're going the other way. That, based on that, he cannot meet the other dog. He saw a dog from a hundred yards away. That dog is a hundred yards away. Now he's kind of with me. And then he said, yeah, but there's a dog. And I started to go this way and he said, yeah, but there's a dog. And I said, I don't care. It doesn't matter. We're going this way. Is he within criteria? He's within criteria. Is he leaving me? Oh, he's with me. This goodness, and if we get goodness passing this dog, is simply because of that one thing I did. That pole down there at the corner, but also when he saw that dog and he said, yeah, I'm not going this way with you. And I said, no, 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 we're going this way. And then he, now he's like, oh. Checking in with me, checking in with me. Okay. Is it within criteria? Yeah. Good boy. Dog's right there. Leave it. Good boy. Within criteria. I think all good. We're going to let these two meet. Come on. Oh my gosh, Joel, he seems scared or some people say that. Dude, this dog. This is the only way to get this dog chill. This is not about treats. This can't be about treats. Carly, go right here. I'm going to go right here. Okay. Leave it. Good. Watch me, guys. In these videos, watch me. Doesn't really it doesn't really matter what the dog wants to do. I'm giving this guy six feet of freedom. He can smell the air. He can do a number of things. There are certain things he cannot do. He cannot leave me. He cannot leave me and go this way to smell the dog. I'm giving him a ton of freedom. Good. You see him walk into my leg? Your dog has to know where you are at all times. You want to be me? This is the stuff you got to do. Leave it. Good boy. The leave it tone. I haven't trained a full leave it with him, but the tone based on everything you've seen me do from that office and beyond makes this guy go, go, oh, I better watch this guy. I don't even look at him. I'm looking at the camera now. Leave it because I sense that he's going to be good. This channel has a hundred thousand subscribers because of this attitude. It's not even what Joel did on leash there, what Joel did on the leash there. It's based on an attitude that you can learn. And I'm not gonna, I don't do like Cesar Milano, like it's just energy, it's just, uh, I'm telling you what I do and how I do it, but you have to have the attitude. Okay, let's let him meet. Okay, so he's gonna meet the dog. Does he have, can he meet the dog? Does he have to come away when I ask him to come away? Does your dog have to come away when you ask? Yes, are there consequences when they don't? Yes. Sit, stay, act like we're, hi, how are you? Good. You want to let our dogs meet? Absolutely. Okay. This is the process for meeting a dog on the street. If you can do it, if the other person will do it. Okay. Let's go see your friend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's Penny. She's so nice. She's so nice. Penny. He's unneutered. Cooper, come. How was my cue? Was it loud enough? The, the, all the neighbors could hear that cue. It was so darn loud. Did I give him an opportunity to come to me? 
Yes. Did he make a choice, his own choice, to say, I heard you, but I'm not doing it? Yes, he did. And there's corrections for that. Sit. Cooper, sit. Stay. You want to meet? Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's your friend. That's your friend. He's a crazy smeller. He's unneutered. He loves it. He's all into it. We're going to let him do it for a minute. Oh, the dog's, oh my gosh, we're on him walk. The dog doesn't want to meet my dog. You got to call your dog away. Your dog shouldn't do what he just did. I know this dog. Oh, look at, look at the pole. Look at the pole. Cooper, come. What a good boy, Cooper. He's an energetic, smart dog. A lot of your dogs are energetic and smart. My recall from smelling her a while ago, or yeah, two minutes ago, was the reason he just came away from a female dog when he was in the middle of smelling was because of that correction before that. Hi, Cooper. Hi there. Oh, he's the best boy ever. Hi. Cooper, come. Good boy. Good boy, Cooper. All right, guys. It's hard for me to kind of explain how important doing it like I just did it is with a dog like this. You can't take half measures. You can't go, yeah, I'll do that, but I won't do that. It all works together. And I hope, hopefully you're seeing that it's not really, it's not that hard. It's a few simple rules. It's I mean what I say, and there's a consequence when you don't do it. I'm also very clear. It's about clarity. How, how are my leave it cues? Were they loud enough for him to hear? Yes. How was my Cooper come? Was it loud enough for him to hear? Good boy. Yes. How did I set him up for success by doing all that stuff in the office so that then when we see this dog, he's not out of his mind? Yes, I did all that. I set this guy up for success and then I expected him to be listening. Okay, that's it. Like, subscribe, and comment.